getting hacked. Way well, that is something that all of us that are online never want to see happen to them. And it's never happened to me, thank goodness, but it can happen. So I'm making this video actually twofold reason. One, I'm responding to a comment about HostGator being the reason for somebody getting all the sites hacked. And then two, uh, I'm going to show you some steps you can do to prevent hacking and protect yourself from hackers, uh, your own WordPress installation. So number one comment uh, about HostGator, a guy left a comment on one of my YouTube videos, and he was really getting on me for pr promoting HostGator. Uh, and saying the only reason I did so is because of affiliate commissions because they, they are terrible all, terrible. all of his sites got hacked and he knows all these people that have been hacked that used HostGator and and I, I then he got some really strong language going and got really negative about everything so I had to ban him off my channel but it got me thinking and I wanted to make a short video number one, you know, from my experience online I've been using HostGator for 8 plus years, going on 9 years recommend them to dozens and dozens of clients if they didn't have web hosting most generally recommend what HostGator unless there's a specific need that they uh, the HostGator can't fulfill for them um, none of those sites have been hacked I've never been hacked thank goodness knock on fake wood desk but I'm not saying it can't happen but there are some steps you can take and as far as the hosting being your fault at fault for getting hacked that's almost generally not the case because it most generally, it's a lot, a lot of things like bad WordPress themes, outdated or iffy WordPress plugins, and so on and so forth, downloading scripts that are infected with malware, and so on and so forth. Uh, it can happen to, it can happen, but there are some steps you can take. I mean, I know people that make 50, that have fifty hundred thousand dollars a month, and I, you know, this has been verified to me anyway. I don't make anywhere near that much much uh, unfortunately but uh, I know and then another guy that has uh, he, I don't know how much he makes but he probably makes seven figures I mean he had his minimum charge is three thousand a month he has dozens of VAs working for him he's been doing it for years and he has all kinds of clients he uses HostGator exclusively so does the other person that I was talking about and I can tell you this much I wouldn't or neither would they they would not use HostGator if it was a if they were in risk of being hacked, I mean, they would not jeopardize their business. So, what can you do to stop hosting? Well, first of all, let's take a look at a list I have here. If I can find it. There we go. Anti-hacking measures. Strong passwords is always a good thing to do. Here's a good way to make strong passwords. Using lastpass.com. Uh, very cool place. I don't know what I do without LastPass. Tell you the truth, stores all my usernames and passwords, logins. You know, stores it encrypted so that it cannot be uh, hacked itself. So very secure. And you can click on Generate Secure Password and generate a secure password just like that. Here you can make another one. Now, good luck for somebody trying to guess this password right here. Break into it even with a computer program. Uh, break in and guess this password in any reasonable length of time they'll probably just give up and move on let's go back to the list and it goes without saying do not use admin as your WP admin username uh, that's all I'm going to say just don't use admin use something else keep your WP theme, WordPress themes and plugins updated and use caution when uh, using plugins and free themes especially free themes I, I really am careful using free WordPress themes because a lot of them are not coded very well. And the same thing actually goes with some of those themes on Theme 4. So be careful with some of those themes. Uh, plugins, like I said, make sure to keep them updated in. And, and don't just download anything on your computer. That goes without saying, too. Be, be cautious downloading stuff, and that goes to you. I'm saying that to you, my grandson, so you probably never see this, but... I have to. I use a program called Malware Bytes that uh, I've gotten removed malware from my computers. That they they seem to like to download pretty much anything that pops up. Security plugins, security WordPress plugins, WordPress security is one I used. I've used several other ones. Uh, can't really recall. I, I remember there's one. There's uh, anyway. WordPress is my main one. Here's another one that I'm using. I just somebody that I highly respect uh, recommended this to me also. So I'm actually going to download and activate this on all my sites anti-malware security and brute force firewall in fact let's take a look at that 
let's see here. I downloaded and activated the anti malware plugin. And over here on the right, it says updates and registration. First of all, you had to click on a button to get a key generated. And then you had to enter in your name and an email, and then click on a button, and then it'll It'll give you another choice to it's get you're getting on an email list basically for this plugin, um, but it's a free plugin. They do ask donations, but I haven't made a donation yet, but I will if it, this plugin works. Anyway, you have to click on after you've done the key and then uh, entered in your email and name, and then there'll be a there'll be a button that says download definitions, which you, they hopefully they keep updated, and it sounds like they do with the newest hacking threats so I downloaded the definitions and now my plugin the anti malware plugin is up to date so that's a plugin that I'm going to use on all my sites highly recommended from somebody highly respected online that I highly respect online so another recommendation to you what other things can I say about be taking security being secure keeping your site secure uh, very uh, to me this is almost goes without saying too you got to back up your site. Keep backups. I mean, if you get you, if you get hacked, hopefully it'll never happen to you, but if you ever did and you didn't have a backup and it was that would be terrible. So, keep backups so you can revert back to the newest after you figure out how they hacked you. To begin with, you can revert back to a non-infected version of your website and back, you know, restore it back online. I use a plugin called Backup Buddy. Uh, I have a lifetime plugin license for that. It is a paid plugin. There's also a plugin called Duplicator, which is a free one which I've used. Backup Buddy, I believe, right now has a big sale going on, so you can check that out. Uh, and, you know, there's there's other backup plugins out there. There's probably some good ones that are free or fairly inexpensive. The main thing is just do it. Just make sure you keep your site backed up somehow. So that is about all I've got to say. Yes, I'm still going to promote HostGator. I'm still going to use them for all my sites, and I would not do so if they were a threat to get hacked like this person was saying. So God bless you, whoever you were. I can't remember what your name was. So God bless you. You're not, you can't comment on my channel anymore, but um, nothing personal. I hope you get your sites restored online. And to everybody else, keep on smiling. And keep on keeping on.